Hello everybody and welcome back to another SOTEP tutorial. Uh, I've just been releasing a few videos this month and in this video I want to show you guys how I'm going to draw graffiti guys. Seeing as I've done a tutorial on how to draw the graffiti girl stylized, I thought it's only fair to now go and do the guys. So if you haven't checked out that video already, go check it out, I'll leave a link somewhere in the video. And let's just jump straight into it, how to draw graffiti style guys. Like most things I start off with when drawing is the basic shapes, the basic form. So it's no different here. I'm just going to start off with a circle. And once I've got my circle in place, I am then going to I'm then going to draw a center line, basically bent to the angle I want the face facing. So here I'm going to have this one just for the lesson facing to the to the left side. So instead of going straight, which will be a central line, I'm going to an angle like that. Now this gives me just a rough indication of where I'm going to place the features now on the face. The first place I'm going to start is on this eye here, so the eye to the right. And I'm just going to put in a rough circle there, which then gives me a good indication of where I can put this eye. If you want to get a perspective in place from eye to eye, you can always draw a line slightly going inward. So if you draw like this, and if you see what I'm doing here is instead of being flat like that, I'm angling it inwards so it gets thinner as it goes towards my left hand, like that. And with those guides in place, I can easily and simply put in the, put in the other circle where the other eye is going to sit which will be right here. Okay, once the two circles are in place, and I'm happy with that, I then like to work on the upper lid of the eye. So for this, I'm gonna keep it quite simple so you guys can follow along. And I'm just gonna draw a straight line for, for, the, for the eye, the eyelid. And the same goes for the other side. I'm always just gonna copy it, is that angle. Now, as you can see already, if you've seen my drawings and the style I go for, it's already given me a strong shape of where I'm going to fit the eye. So, using the circle, just follow the first basic shapes you put in. Obviously, the left eye is going to be a tiny bit smaller than the right, obviously, because it's further away from the audience. And that's the placement of the two eyes in place. And from the first circles we actually started, we get the eyelid shapes here. And I'm just going to use that shape. So just pull up from there. And the same you do with this is pull up. Obviously, so it's a circle and then that will have a pull up line on each side. And the nose is going to come from here downwards. So with the nose, the top of the nose, bridge of the nose up there, it gives me a good indication of where the top of the eyebrow is going to go. So I'm just going to place it there angle it upwards and that's obviously where the, where the eyelid is for the eye and I'm going to do the same on this side here and now we've got the eyes in a strong placement I'm happy with that placement distance is too far away obviously if you want the distance to be bigger and exaggerated that all depends on the character you have in mind so it's always good to have a rough concept in your mind before you actually start drawing so with the eyes in place I always like to do this thing I like to add a few lines underneath almost like almost like bags under the eyes it just gives it a dark look that's just a style preference watch what I go for okay and similar to the girl tutorial I did before is you're looking for a placement of the nose to throw in the shape but bear in mind with a guy the shapes a lot more bigger and almost uh more square like instead of round and ditzy for what you would do for the female so I'm gonna throw Let's just say that's just a bit like a rough, like that shape in place. And I'm just going to throw that in there, and it gives me a good indication of the sort of nose. Then using the basic shape, I like to build off the front first, like so. And then put in the nostril. So that shape there pretty much give me a, the nose placement straight out, straight out. But obviously adjust it, if you're not happy with it, you can easily rub it out and adjust, but that's, I'm liking that so far. I think that's pretty good. 
I'm just going to put the indication of the top of the nose to give it more of a roundness so it makes more sense and just shade down from there. Doing this little trick here with the nose where you put that top line and shade down, it just turns it from a 0 to a 10 in a matter of seconds. Okay guys, and the next thing I'm going to place in is the lips. So for the lips, I like to just do like a small rectangle for the top and for the bottom I'm just going to do this tiny half C like this. This gives me the middle of the lip shape and put in another rectangle but more angled. And let's just pull that back. I'm trying to keep it to the basic the basic forms here, so I'm not going to throw any crazy expressions and just give you a good starting block. If you want another video on how to do various expressions for each character, I'm more than happy to do that for you guys. That way, once you get these basic foundations and you want to just know how to start, as well as the basics down, how do I add more emphasis on expression, I'll, I'll be more than happy to create that content for you guys. Right, guys. And now the next thing I like to actually put in place is the eyebrows because that way it gives me more sense of the shape of the of the face. So sometimes I like to let the pencil go real loose here so I'm not too tight as I was earlier and just let the eyebrows fall in place. And let's put that one down, let's angle it. A quick tip with the eyebrows is if you put this line here, a lot of people do the mistake of starting the eyebrow here like this. But obviously, if you're looking at the face, you're looking at it from an angle this way, the eyebrows going to sit more over this, this part of the face instead of here. So here, and throw it there. And there we go. Just shade that in quickly. Right. Now the next thing I like to do is put a light placement of the cheekbones on each side. So you can almost imagine there's like um like a giant triangle going through the face, hitting the lips and then bouncing up that way. And that'll give you a rough placement of cheekbones. But if you want this is the good bit, if you want your character to have strong cheekbones, you can place them lower on the face or higher up. That's what's always good, just to have a little rough idea of what sort of character look you're going for. And obviously going back to looking and researching your own your own references is a good way to practice. I'm giving this guy quite a quite a square face. That's I don't know what, let's just give him a little mustache, why not? Make him look like Hispanic a little bit. And this is a good thing once you have the foundation down. Like now, once you put the foundations in place, it's easy to add things you want. If you want to throw some face tattoos on him, you can. You can change up the whole design by just adding a few small changes. But it's it's important to have the foundation down. So don't don't rush in with the detail. Like, oh, well, I want this crazy detail. Foundations in place and then build. Almost like you're sculpting the image. Okay, okay. And then from the lips, the guys normally have more of a drop down for their chin so here I'm going to angle it towards the audience and just throw in like yeah another rectangle shape here and I'm just going to throw in a rough guideline so I'll follow that round and I'll pull it back this line height quite here I love pulling this line in because you can just just bend it inwards and I don't know it gives it a real animated look Okay, another tip I like to do is from the top of the eyebrow, instead of going straight up, which most people do, that would be your straight up look, which is fine, you can keep that, is I create this little round shape first. Almost imagine there's a fold up here. So this is the original, where it goes straight up. If I do this shape, pull that up a little bit, and then from here I drag up. I just feel it creates more of a, more of a shape up there because a lot of people think 
a lot of people concentrate on the nose and the eyes and that that's good but once you start implementing smaller parts of the face so like the cheekbone and that top of the top of the eyebrow it's just those small touches which shows you've given a bit more thought to the image instead of just like oh there's just amazing eyes and the rest of it just fall where it may where, wherever it goes place the ears in I'm just gonna do some fairly big ears so once like the nose I'll just create this this shape and a little trick if you want to know for the inside of the eyes is like do this tubular shape like this like a backwards L and build from the bottom there that's just a real quick ear by the way guys I might actually do another tutorial on how to do ears because ears surprisingly can change an image quite a lot and gives you quite a lot of uh, diversity but this guy's got some this guy's got ears like Will Smith at the moment maybe it can be Will Smith who knows let's give him a hairstyle and now it just comes down to hair or hat really which could be anything you want um, let me have a think Uh, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit stumped on how to do the hair, so I'm literally just gonna let the pencil put the hair in place. Um, this is a whole different tutorial in itself, so if you want to see, just let me let me know in the comment section. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna throw the hair into place now. So yeah, here I'm just throwing it in real quick. I was gonna get a messy hair, but in this tutorial, I just want to focus on the face, really. And I showed you guys how to get the foundation in, and yeah, just putting the hair in place. I'm now just gonna time lapse the video, and with a darker pencil, one of these is just a HB. I'm just gonna go over it, pin a few bits of shade in that, just so I can show you guys the final result and what you guys can achieve by just following these tutorials. So, yep, yeah, straight to the time lapse now. there we have it guys that's how you draw a graffiti style guy I don't know what happened to this guy he started like Will Smith at one point and then he's changed completely he looks completely different but that's the power of when you change um, certain characteristics of certain aspects of a drawing you can change it completely so just bear that in mind if you want to create like a variety of different uh, guys to be honest with you this guy here looks like he's been to the same barber as that Pokemon what's his name um Pidgeotto is it you know with the, with the hair pulled back but I'll draw you guys another one, um, probably more hip hop style if you want, I'm going to really exaggerate on the features here, so that's just the basic foundation, and with this one I'm just going to really play around with it and pull out a lot more shapes. I just want to give you guys a greater understanding, and yeah, I'll stop talking, let's just, let's just do it. Okay, so let's use the same principles from this face, and we'll just start off with a circle once again. and have it facing this way so where I bent it that way last time we're bending the line this way I'm gonna go all out on here and just throw in some shapes but using the same sort of lesson from the first face so as before put the circles in place if it helps draw the line and now let's just throw in some rough shapes here Square off the eyebrow a bit more from this from this one. I'm gonna square it off a little bit. And place this eye in place. And I'm just gonna build up rough shapes, keep the pencil real loose. Um, 
Okay, next I'm gonna start off putting the top of the top of the nose in this time. Just I'm gonna have the face scrunched up, so I'm putting these rough lines in to indicate the where you'd if you scrunch up your face, you have like um this bridge on the top of the nose, and change the shape for the nose here into more of a triangular shape. Okay. A good way to change the shape of the nose is a lot of people concentrate on putting these lines in and using them relying on changing the shape of the nose but if you really want to start playing with a three dimensional shape shading adds so much it's unbelievable so yeah you really want to learn how to put different shades in place because if I start with like a small circle here and have a long one here it just gives his nose a, a fatter nose pull that in yeah, with this one, I'm just gonna. I hope I can show you that by using the same principles, you can design something completely different, just using the same rules from this lesson. So here, I'm really gonna pull that mouth out a lot more. I really want to play with the shapes, play with the bigger top of lip from the original one, um, and let's have teeth showing a bit and. A droopier bottom lip. That is a very big bottom lip. But we'll just play with the shapes. Like I said, it's more fun that way. At this stage, when I'm drawing, um, I actually have no idea what how this is going to turn out. I'm just putting sh putting the shapes in what feel right, built on top of each other. And this will come after time. Practice the foundations. Practice the basic lessons. It's not the funnest part, I know. But once you've got the practice down. Like anything, like boxing or any other sport, you've got to pick the practice on hitting the bags, and when you go to the ring, you know what you're doing. So the same principles lie here. Let's give this guy like a goatee, yeah. And pulling out, I'm going to really play with the with the bottom of the chin, and really bring out a, a bigger shape. Pull that in a bit. Now, as you can already see, it's the same principles, but completely different. And that's the beauty about just learning the learning the basics is it pays dividends one hundred percent. And this is something I work, I still work on myself. If I don't know what to draw, I just think, right, what are some basic foundation lessons I can learn today? Obviously, practice hands, practice skulls, life drawing, things of art. You just want to be good quick. You know, you have a vision in your head, but just are you able to translate that to paper and that's when it comes into practice then you start getting a great a great understanding like okay this is how i do this shape so yeah this one i'm keeping a lot of the shapes a lot more squarer than the original one just give you a different look And put in some bigger eyebrows. And put that eyebrow in too. Do the same thing here with the top of the eyebrow and up. And now let's just give this guy like a Samuel L. Jackson style hat. Those old level ones, the Kango ones, back in the 19, 1980s, 1990s. Make it look artsy and stuff. I hope you guys can see the variation in styles you can just create. That's really want to show because everyone has a different unique style and is actually attracted to different styles of art and that's that's the beautiful thing about it. It's just you yourself. When you see an image you're like oh that's you know that's dope that's what I like I like stuff like that and just find what it is you like and aim towards it. But it's also good just to learn a few like I said the few a few foundation lessons, get them in place and it just makes things a lot easier for what you want to create and visualize. 
I'm going to pull that goatee back a bit so it just grows a bit on, more onto his face. Um, pull, pull a hairline here. Rough outline of the hat is in place. Bit like a little logo here. It doesn't really matter about the logo. I'm just I'm just adding extras here. I'm working with the, working with the imagery itself. Um, I don't know how well this line work is coming out on the camera, but just for tutorial sake, I'd say the foundation is in place. Once again, using the same principles I did from this face, I just brought the same principles to this using different shapes for the noses. As you can see, this is a very small nose compared to a bigger nose. Lips, I just exaggerated, I wanted it more animated, I'm really going for that look. So. Yeah, I'm just going to time lapse this again. Put all the main lines I want to keep and get rid of the ones I don't. Um, you want to be doing the same process if you're drawing at home. And yeah, once again, I'm just going to jump straight into time lapse and then show you the end result and see what you guys think. Right, and there we have it, guys. That's Two different ways you can sort of draw faces all done I hope you guys stick around to the end and you learn something from this video it actually means a lot that I can create this content and get such good feedback from you guys so I'm super thankful for you guys um, yeah and that's how to draw faces any other videos you guys want to see don't be afraid to leave a comment I read all my comments I go through them all or messages just want to say a huge thank you to everyone lately because everything is going hectic over on my Instagram so thank you so much and if you guys also want to help this channel grow I have a patreon set up where every month you get a print and stickers and if that's something you fancy you think yeah I'll be down for that sign up if not it's cool um, but yeah guys have a blessed day and until next time peace